Hello everyone. Good day to you and thank you for joining us here today. I'm very excited um, about this webinar as um, it's a webinar for DocuSign MQBS to show you how you can maximize your potential um, profits with DocuSign. Um, I'll start by introducing myself. So I work for QBS um, software since 2022. We're now on our way to becoming one of the biggest software delivery platforms out there. Um, and essentially, my job is part of the product management team. I work as a product manager. Um, and ultimately, I'm responsible for creating net new business, taking what exists and figuring out how we can make it better. I'd like to take this moment to go over and introduce you to Andy, who's going to be taking the baton today. Uh, before I do that, just to let you all know, um, there will be some lucky winners who will win some prizes for the best questions posed during this webinar. So please do keep your eyes peeled. And over to you, Andy. Good morning to everyone who's joining the uh, webinar today. Um, my name is Andy Cottingham. I'm the Senior Channel Retail Manager at DocuSign. I've been at DocuSign five and a half years um, and I'm in charge of the UK and Ireland uh, distribution and resale channel. So today we're going to give you a little bit of an overview of, of DocuSign um, and more importantly how you can uh, maximise your, your potential profit with DocuSign and also touching upon some of the managed service opportunities um, that could arise from uh, reselling DocuSign as well. So as you all know, we, we are um, a category defining company in e-signature, um, but we are now an intelligence agreement company as well. And I will touch upon that later in the webinar. Um, we've got over 1.3 million customers, hundreds of millions of users, we're available in 43 different languages across 180 countries. And the good thing about DocuSign is not only do some of the world's best brands trust DocuSign, but also um, the fact that we have such a diverse portfolio of customers. So as you can see here, we have some of the biggest technology companies in Microsoft and Salesforce. We have some big banks. We have manufacturing. We have healthcare. Um, so you can see it's a very diverse portfolio of customers that we um, specialize to. So what does this mean? Well, today, many agreements and workflows are manual. And what we're doing, trying to do at DocuSign is unlock the data that lives in those agreements, whether that be an SLA, um, whether it be important contract terms or even obligations. We are unlocking the data that lives in the agreements so that you don't have to. So with DocuSign, we basically break it up into four different solution areas. Prepare, sign, act and manage. And these are the four stages of the agreement cycle. So from a preparation stage, this is preparing the document for signature, making sure that all the fields are in the right place, um, that there's easy access to be able to sign the document itself. From the sign phase, this is the most important um, part of DocuSign in, in the past. You know, actually being able to sign your documents anywhere, any place on any device. Then we move on to the second half of it, which is more around like what happens with the document once it's been signed. So in the act stage, that could be uh, uploading the document into a, a CRM system you know, such as Salesforce or Dynamics 365, uh, or it could be um, you know, uploading it into an ERP, um, such as uh, Xero or um, QuickBooks. And then lastly, the manage piece as well. And th this is a key area for, uh, for DocuSign moving forwards. So what happens with the document afterwards? How are you storing it? Um, is it accessible for, from an audit purpose? Um, and how are you easily able to search and execute for key terms in the document itself? So as you can see here, this is our full um, DocuSign uh, solutions platform. And as you can see, uh, e-signature is a very small part of, of it compared to all the other solutions that we uh, provide as well. So diving a bit deeper into the agreement process, um, we categorize it in seven steps. 
And the good thing for you is that DocuSign has a solution in each one of these steps. So starting with agreement generation, as we touched upon in the prepare stage, um, this is really, you know, how, how do you, you know, prepare that agreement for uh, for signature? Um, then the collaborate piece. Um, so this is how you're collaborating, ex you know, internally with um, with your um, with your clients or with your employees. Um, so in collaborate, we have two two different options. We have e-signature for Teams, and we also have e-signature for Slack. So the two biggest um, instant messaging platforms, we are able to provide access um, to collaborate in those. Then we move on to ID verification. So from an ID verification perspective, we have two different options for that, um, which I'll touch on later in the, uh, in the webinar. Then the signature piece, uh, which we've already discussed. And then once the signature has you know, been completed, how do we automate those workflows? So are we using something like um, Power Automate as, as a way of, of building those workflows out, for instance? Then the last two parts kind of go hand in hand together. The managing of the agreements in the repository and then also the analytics behind that as well. So um, what you'll see in there is really kind of a deep dive into signature usage um, and also, you know, how you can further benefit from, from using DocuSign as well. And then touching up on the managed services opportunities, because there's a vast range of, of different things that you could do uh, for your end customer um, to create those managed services opportunities. One of those could be form creation. So creating the web forms on the behalf of the customer. Uh, it could be estate management. So you're you're basically managing all of their, their users um, when they need to add and remove users um, and also, you know, all of their licensing um, in a kind of SAM based um, environment. Um, then we have workflow creation and management. So th this again, you know, comes back to building um, those specific workflows for the use cases of the business and then managing them on an ongoing basis. We also have web form generation as well. So um, not only can you use the, the browser for, for signature, but you could also create a web form so that the customer can, can just experience it through an, a normal web browser experience. Um, and then lastly, analytics and reporting. So running those reports, running that analytics on the behalf of the end customer as well. So you can see that the opportunities are vast in terms of the overall agreement process um, for you to be able to deliver managed manage services back to your customer and be their trusted advisor. So over a million organizations use DocuSign eSignature. So why is that? Well, let's start with the fact that agreements are anywhere. You know, if you think of any sales department, front office or back office, um, there are numbers of agreements. So it could be NDAs, it could be uh, service agreements, it could be um, contract management. The, the possibilities are, are endless, but also you need a way of being able to um, quickly agree um, on these uh, types of agreements. And the thing is that normal signature steps are complex. So what we're doing is we're really trying to simplify this, this whole agreement process into a way that's quick and easy and also saves the company money as well. So we do this in four different stages. Uh, we provide an intuitive signing experience, which is configurable and, aut and provides automated workflows with enterprise grade security and compliance controls with access to over 400 plus integrations. So starting with the intuitive signing experience, as I mentioned before, this is across any device and it allows you to send and sign agreements anytime, anywhere in, in a real time environment. This can be done through a number of different uh, delivery methods as well including um, SMS delivery and also our newly uh, confirmed WhatsApp delivery uh, service as well. So you can digitally 
verify signers' identities so they don't need to show off in person. It also allows you to eliminate manual tasks with configurable automated workflows. So this really is you know, making uh, the signing experience so much easier and, and quicker to do. So you can build um, things like automated fields, um, you can build web forms so that they can just go onto the web and fill in the information. Um, and also you can reduce time and preparation by building templates and bulk send, sending out the um, documents as well. We also mentioned security and compliance controls. Um, so this is really important um, you know, for particularly regulated industries. Uh, so we have um, the most stringent and security privacy regulations. Um, that includes um, data residency rules, GDPR, and from a, a regulated industry perspective, um, HIPAA as well. We also have other enterprise grade security features, um, such as single sign-on or multi-factor authentication. And lastly, I mentioned around the 400 plus integrations. So we have the largest number of integrations out of any e-signature solution. Some of these will be the, the, the biggest uh, ISV names that you will um, expect us to integrate into, such as Salesforce, Workday, Microsoft, and Google. Um, but we also have a number of smaller ISVs that integrate with, with DocuSign as well. And also ones which are more industry specific, um, such as Workday for uh, HR or NetSuite for finance. Also, you can build custom experiences with our award-winning API as well. If there's any legacy systems that the customer uh, needs to have access to, um, then you can API DocuSign into those solutions as well. So DocuSign is the number one in e-signature and also the number one in contract lifecycle management as well. So if you're just thinking about e-signature, then you may be leaving money on the table. Essentially, what we're doing is we're moving away from just an e-signature focus to be able to offer a wider portfolio of products across the agreement process. What this does is it simplifies and speeds up the customer's agreement process in business, makes your customers more nimble, and delivers a stickier, repeatable solution. that are easier to implement, fast to demonstrate results, trusted by over 1 million customers, and proven to deliver an immediate and ongoing business value for customers. So what we have done at DocuSign is we have created two new packages. So it's taking our e-signature solution and then adding on additional services in there. So on the left-hand side, we have our business acceleration. Um, this includes document generation. Um, so actually creating the document ready for, for signature. Um, it includes advanced workflows which is your uh, repeatable tasks and speeds up the signing workflow um, and multi-channel delivery, which is what I discussed um, earlier in terms of being able to instantly send um, documents out with SMS or WhatsApp. On the right hand side, we have our security features. So this is our security package. And what we'll do is we'll be diving a little bit more into uh, the monitor product. Um, this is basically some uh, rule-based alerts, um, which can um, which can derive from activity tracking and advanced analytics. So it's basically like managing the security of your estate in DocuSign. Uh, we also mentioned uh, single sign-on, so we have access management um, control with single sign-on um, and prevent users from creating personal accounts while monitoring all their activities and then org management as well. So being able to um, manage um, across accounts and efficiently um, add, up, add update or close a large number of user accounts at once. So again, this comes back to managed services as well. You can offer each of these, um, these options with a managed services wraparound as part of it. 
So this just goes into a bit more detail around the, the different products which are available in each of the uh, packages. So this is the business acceleration one, and this is the security one. So going back to our agreement process, and, and let's dive a little bit more into each of the areas of the, the process and the products that are available in those areas. So from agreement generation, this is our DocuSign Gen uh, product, so DocuSign document generation. So what this allows you to do is create customized agreements, quotes and invoices, drag and drop fields into the document where you're going to want DocuSign to be able to uh, pull those in and um, be able to obviously sign the document uh, itself as well. Then we have our collaboration piece. And the one that I wanted to touch on here is our e-signature for Microsoft Teams. Um, so you can see here, it's very much a um, an in Teams experience. Um, and what you can do is you can create that, that, you know, that signing experience in Microsoft Teams. Um, we also do have it available for Slack and also for Zoom as well. I touched on ID verification earlier. Um, but I wanted to, to go into a little bit more detail around this um, because we effectively have two forms of ID verification. Um, the first one being a government issued ID. So that could be passport or driving license. Um, and effectively you, you would submit that and that would be your, um, your way of, of accessing into, um, into DocuSign. Um, the second piece is more around ID verification um, for qualified electronic signatures. So basically what we're doing is we're using AI um, based identity ver verification. So if, if you've experienced this with banks in terms of, you know, being able to perform certain gestures um, to get into uh, getting to your account, then this works in the same way. Uh, it's basically um, a AI ver verification um, of uh, yourself. Um, and your your customers being able to access their documents. So it's another level of security that we're offering as part of the DocuSign portfolio. Jumping forward to uh, the management of the agreements, um, this is our um, contract lifecycle management tool. Um, so this comes into the, the, the act and manage stage of, of the process. Um, and with uh, Docu DocuSign TLM, um, this actually allows you to generate agreements, um, track red lines, and ensure uh, version controls. Um, so this can be for new agreements and also, um, you know, legacy agreements as well. Um, being able to bring those into um, into the you know modern day terms and uh, agreement controls, um, and then being able to cent centrally search um, for those agreements through a an agreement repository. So again, this is another tool that we're bringing as part of the DocuSign offering, um, which essentially will, will be a way of uh, you know, managing contracts uh, right through to their, their life cycle. And then I mentioned analytics. Um, so we have two products in here. Um, this is DocuSign Insight, um, which is more around um, being able to look at your existing agreements uh, and perform searches and perform, uh, you know, AI um, analytics on those particular documents as well. If there's any particular legal terms or or clauses um, across agreements that you want to search for, um, then this is the product um, that you'll be able to do it with. And then lastly, I mentioned monitor, and this is part of the security package. Um, so being able to protect your agreements with with round the clock activity tracking. Obviously, if you want any more information on any of these products, then feel free to reach out and we can share um, share this with you or any demos that you would like on those particular products as well. Just touching on um, the signature standards. Um, so we we comply with all uh, European Union signature standards. Uh, that is um, EIDAS uh, compliant, which is the the main. Um, signature standard um, in um, European Union. Um, we also uh, comply with GDPR uh, requirements and also on the European Union trust list uh, for qualified signatures as well. So in terms of how to license um, DocuSign, 
essentially we have three different packages on our e-signature um, side. So that being the standard, the business pro and the enterprise pro uh, packages as well. So essentially, depending on the level of um, customization and security that you need um, would depend on the package that you, you would um, you, you would need to uh, to choose for your customer. So typically the Business Pro is our most uh, popular package. And you can see in here, this offers a level of customization um, such as custom fields, um, forms, and also being able to make uh, payments through pay uh, payment gateways um, such as um, Stripe, um, and also being able to, to add stuff like automation. So that's where the power forms, the bulk send um, comes in as well, making you know making the experience a lot easier for for the user. But being able to customize e-signature is is really the the main key here. So we have two different models. Um, you can either do it as a, a, a per user basis, as a minimum of, of five seats, um, or you can use, um, you can do it by per transaction, which is a minimum of 500 envelopes. So the way that the seat model work is um, each user gets 100 envelopes to send annually, um, but they're pulled at the account level. So five seats is effectively 500 envelopes. Um, but with the envelope model, uh, you can have an unlimited number of users and that's then pulled at the account level. So anybody inside that organization is then able to send those um, those envelopes. Um, both options are, are available and it really does depend on, on how the customer wants to, you know, wants to license their um, their uh, estate for DocuSign. Just a, a touch on um, the fact that the support is mandatory. Um, it's charged at 15% of the overall license cost. Um, and we also can't mix and match plans as well. So if they're on Business Pro, they would have to be on Business Pro uh, across the organization. Just wanted to touch on another um, option that we have around support as well, um, which is our Silver Success Pack. Um, and the good thing with Silver Success Pack is that effectively you're not only getting the, the support, um, but you're also getting a, an onboarding um, experience as well. Um, so for one use case, you, you can get um, onboarding for the end customer and also um, on-demand learning as well through our DocuSign University. Um, so this offers real value to, to the customer and also you know, increases the managed services capabilities as well that, that you're able to offer um, as part of the, um, the service. So lastly, what, you know, what's in it for, for you as, as the reseller? Um, so we, we have you know, three different parts here. Uh, from a margin perspective, you get healthy margins. So deep discounts on new business opportunities through deal registration. And by being able to generate those larger deals, you'll receive bigger margins as part of that. Pipeline as well. So you know, really being able to find and accelerate new opportunities outside of your current um, portfolio. And also, you know, that recurring revenue and further attach opportunities. The fact that we have so many integrations is not only going to, you know, offer up new opportunities with DocuSign, but it's also going to offer up new opportunities with other products um, that we integrate with as well. So being able to attach DocuSign to other sales or productivity storage or cloud software. Thank you so, so much, Andy. That was super, super insightful um, and hopefully um, will be attracting a lot of attention from our resellers in line with that. I just want to remind everybody out there um, that me and Andy are very contactable. Um, so please, if you've got any opportunities, please do, please do reach out to me. Um, it's Raz, um, Raz Shah, raz.shah at qbssoftware.com. Um, I just want to let you know that the handouts um, are in the comment section. So feel free um, to, to make use of, of all of those. Um, and, and another thing, 
I, I'm just wondering if we've got enough time for for a few questions, Andy. Yeah, we've got a couple of minutes for some uh, some questions. So if anybody's got any questions, now's your time to fire away. Okay, so we've got one here. So Andy, here's one for you. What are the best industry verticals for DocuSign? Okay, that's a great question, Raz. Um, so in terms of industry ver verticals, um, I would say probably regulated industries is, is a really important um, part for us. So if you think of um, things like uh, accounting, um, finance, so financial services, um, and also public sector is a really up and coming industry for us as well. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, and also in terms of the average company size, in terms of employees, um, what sort of size are we talking? Yeah, so, so actually, you know, from a DocuSign perspective, we span, you know, right up from, uh, you know, from a five user um, organization, you know, right up to some of the largest enterprise companies um, in the world using us as well. And lastly, I know I'm familiar with this because I work on a lot of opportunities with you, Andy. Um, so tell me, what do customers typically purchase? Yeah, so typically, you know, customers purchase e-signature as, as a starting point. Um, but as you'll have seen today, in terms of the packages that we're providing, um, we're really starting to try and build, um, you know, up from e-signature. So as, as the business acceleration package, as an example, um, you have, you know, e-signature, um, but then you, you have the package on top. Um, which really, you know, allows for stuff like um, SMS delivery or WhatsApp delivery, and, you know, being able to, you know, actually generate the document itself. Um, so, and also then being able to to use advanced workflows as well. So we're really building upon our e-signature breed uh, and offering complementary services to, uh, you know, to service the agreement process. Very, very well said. Um... And I think what I'm getting from that is that there's a much bigger opportunity out there, um, correct me if I'm wrong, Andy, than, than e-signature. E um, you know, this, and DocuSign ultimately offers that. Um, so it's all about taking advantage of this. Um, so I just want to take this moment to remind everybody, uh, please do reach out to us if you've got any opportunities. We can support you every step of the way. Um, there is healthy margins involved. Uh, there's full support from us as a distributor, as well as um, from Andy and the team um, from DocuSign side. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about this journey, Andy, and thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, Raz, and, and thank you, everyone, for uh, for making the, the session today.